What's up Legionnaires, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'll be showcasing how you can install SteamOS on the Lenovo Legion Go S. Now, this is the preview just released. I'll show you guys how you can get this one working and I'll give you guys my impressions. So if that's something you guys were interested in, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this video. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to need to do is install SteamOS. So I'll post this link in the description. You guys can go here and download it. So as you can see here, it'll bring you to Steam Deck Repair Set downloads right here the next thing you're going to want to do is download rufus to be able to put the image on the micro sd card to take it to the lenovo legion go s and again you can just do this on your legion go s if you guys find that easier so to get started we're just going to download this one here rufus 4x point 4.6.ex so as you can see here is downloaded so we're going to open it up so once you have roof is downloaded you're going to install it it opens up like this now you should be able to see your usb stick i have men in here it's the 128 gig and over here we're going to click here so over here we're going to open up this and we're going to open up the steam deck repair by selecting it here and it should go here so next we're just going to hit start and let it do a stin it gives us a warning but that's okay we're just going to hit okay now this is going to take some time so just go do whatever you need to get done and come back to this all right so once that's done we're gonna hit close should be good to go there all right so now looking at that disc we have steam os here and efi here so we should be good to go now let's put it on and now legion go s all right so before we're able to flash this we do need to just config the bios real quick so we're going to hold the volume up button and power as you can see here release that and you're going to have a screen like this let me zoom in for a bit so hopefully you guys can see that better so we're going to go to bio setup here we're going to go we're going to go to more settings there and we're going to go to config all right so next we want to go to config here and then we want to go to display settings here and then we want to make sure that the uma buffer is set to auto here so next we want to go to security here we want to find secure booth here and we want to disable this here and then once we're done with that, we want to hit exit here and we want to hit exit saving changes, hit yes. All right. So once it boots up again, you're just going to want to power it off. So we're going to hit shut down here. All right. So the next step is you're going to, again, need to hold the plus button and the power button. And once you do so, you're then going to release the power button, which should get you into the bio setup. All right. So we're going to now plug in our USB device here where we put the steam os in and then we're going to go to boot menu here and then you should be able to see the usb here so we're going to click that and then it should do its thin all right so when that's all said and done you should get re-image steam deck here so make sure that you click this one and then here it's telling you that everything is going to be wiped away so if you want to follow that just hit proceed give it time it's going to do its thin all right, so once that's all said and done, you brought to the screen, you're going to hit proceed and then it's going to do the rest. All right, so here we go, SteamOS on Legion Go S. So we're just going to set this up here. So once you enter all that in, it's going to start installing SteamOS here. All right, so here we go. We have it officially installed. But once you get here, you do need to update it. So we're going to hit Steam. We're going to go to Settings. So once we're here, we want to go to system and we want to enable developer mode here. So we're going to enable developer mode and then we're going to scroll down. We're going to see developer mode here. Next, we want to hit show advanced update channel here. So next we go to system and then we change this to main. Next, we're going to change from Steam Deck stable to Steam Deck beta. And then you guys will see we do have a new update here. So we're going to apply and let it do its thin. All right. So previous to that update, the controller didn't work. But now that we've officially update, you guys will see that the controllers work and you can push this to access the Steam button. You can push this to access the TDP so you can come here. And again, you can uh, just see some advanced views. As you can see here, you have options to 120 hertz, 30. So again, you you can disable it, VRR. You can enable it. So you guys know the Legion Go S supports VRR. So a lot of other stuff here that you can mess around with. I will be testing some games out here and showcasing how this one performs and probably doing a review with SteamOS and this device to see if it can be saved. But yeah, if we go to the settings as well and we scroll down, you can see this is run SteamOS Halo and it's running 3.8. So this was successful with bringing SteamOS to this device. 
let me know what you guys want to see me test in this device and I will test it out. Again, I'll work on the review, letting you guys know if this is actually even worth it. I right, fellas, appreciate you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Till next time, peace out.